Alright, um, I'm doing a rock chip, um, MK8092 factory restore, uh, or firmware restore. Um, now yours might, it might look like, uh, this right here on the outside, or it might look a little bit different, um, but as long as it has the, um, same CPU chip right here, the rock chip, Rock chip uh, RK3066. Uh, this will work out fine. Um, this is the box mine in, mine came in. You can see here, got it off China Vision. Um, these things are really nice, except for the fact that they uh, have a tendency to stop booting. Uh, they get to a rock chip screen that just is black and is white. That's kind of flashing around. Um, now I found some. Uh, software online that uh, shows you or tells you, I guess, uh, how to restore the firmware. And I figured I'd do a video since it took me about two hours to even find anything related to this. Um, ow. Um, all right. So what you first want to start by doing is um, breaking off or breaking off. Yeah, that's what I did. Um, is taking off this black casing. Uh, turns out that there are six clips. There are um, two on the one end over here, two directly in the middle, and two in the back end. Uh, what I did is I started from the end with the USB and uh, micro USB. Uh, it started breaking around there, and I just took a small headed uh, screw and started working my way around the outside of it. Um, now what I'm going to do is, uh, in the description I'll have posted all the firmware files you're going to need. You're going to need something called the Rock Chip Batch Tool version 1.5. Uh, now that will come in a folder titled uh, MK Recovery Tool and Instruction. Now there's going to be three things in this folder. As you can see, there is a recovery tool, the USB driver, and then this Microsoft Word document, which kind of goes over what you're going to be doing. Um, the first thing you're going to do is open up this and you're going to run this batch tool. Now it's going to come up and it's all going to be in Chinese. So what you're going to do is go to the bottom left corner. Now this button will not say language, it's going to say something you will not be able to read. And there's going to be two options to select. Here I'll switch it back for you. But they're just going to be squares. And if you select the bottom square, it's uh, it's English. So now that this is in English, this will be a lot easier to do. Uh, I'm going to pause the video here because I'm still downloading the uh, firmware. So once I'm done with that, I will start over again. All right, next what you're going to do is you're going to um, the firmware file here. It's going to come in a folder that says, or a RAR file that says RK3066 TO5 Launcher 2. Um, you're going to use 7-zip or WinRAR or whatever you want to use and extract it to here and you're going to get a disk image file. Now you're just going to leave that there and what you're going to do is go back to your rock chip batch tool and you're going to hit the little folder search icon and you're going to uh, I apologize go to your downloads wherever you put it and there's a disk image file you're going to select that and hit open Okay, now it's loading the firmware, loading firmware finish is what it says. Okay, so now it says firmware version up here, 4.0.04, .04, boot version 1.2. Alright, so support chip RK30, okay. Now what we're going to do is uh, use the pin reset. Now we can start the next part. Uh, what you're going to want to grab is a map pin or a paper clip. Uh, actually, a paper clip might be too big. Um, uh, a small metal object that you can use to short out two pins. Um, it's going to be the sixth and seventh pin that we're shorting out. I will show you which little chip we're touching. If you look on this side, you can see that it says rock chip, and it's got the uh, spot for the micro SD card to pop in. We're going to flip that over, and we're going to go to the opposite side. Now, starting from the outside and working in, we're going to go between the sixth and seventh pin. Now, this is kind of this is going to be kind of hard for you guys to see because um, my camera is not going to focus. All right, that kind of works. All right, so one, two, three, four, 
five, six. All right, so six and seventh pin right there. Okay, I'm gonna do this off camera because I can't. I need two hands. But what we're gonna do is you're gonna put the pin between the sixth and seventh pin. You're gonna plug in your uh, your micro USB to uh, normal USB and plug that into a computer. Um, so you're gonna put down the pin. Then you're gonna plug it in uh, right into the chip. And then you're going to continue to hold it for three to five seconds. And after, uh, let's say, four and a half, five seconds, you're going to pull the pin out. And then hopefully there should be a pop-up window uh, on your computer to install a new driver. And it should automatically go and do that. So I'm going to do that right now. Alright, so I have the pin in place, I'm going to plug it in. One, two, three, four, five, undo it. Just waiting. Alright, so it might take you a few tries, uh, I'm going to try again. Alright, I took a couple of tries, but here we can see that it's searching for new software because it found a new device. It honestly took me like eight tries to do this, by the way. Um, okay, so now the next thing we're going to do, okay, so it says no, not, no driver found. That's that's fine because, okay, we're not, go away, please, okay. Um, because what we're going to do is we're going to install uh, from a specified location because... Um, we, the driver is actually on, in one of the folders we downloaded. Here's what you're going to do. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to start um, device and devices and printers, and you're going to go to unspecified, unknown device, right click, go to properties, hardware, and then you're going to go to, uh, click the properties button again, and you're going to go over to the driver tab and hit, uh, update driver. Now it's going to ask you if you want to search the internet, um, but that's not going to happen, so you're going to hit browse my computer, and now you're going to browse to the location of where you downloaded. So here I have my downloads and MK809 uh, recovery tool instruction. I'm just going to select that folder and hit OK. Now uh, it will find it automatically in there, so you just hit next and then it's going to tell you that it can't verify the publisher, just hit install this driver anyway and then you're going to see that it's installing the driver software okay it's successfully updated your driver software, awesome, close, okay close all this, ah nice, now connected devices is blue there we go, okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click the update, upgrade, upgrade I guess, alright, for recovery. Alright, so this is going to take um, two to three minutes, and during this time obviously don't unplug it, be pretty stupid. Um, what it's going to say at the very end is it's going to have a bunch of stars and it's going to uh, upgrade done successful uh, with a little one inside it. If it if it doesn't work, uh, I would say unplug it, um, plug it back in after putting the pin in the correct location and try running it again. Uh, if that doesn't work again, I would suggest selecting a different uh, image file off of, I think there's multiple on their website, I will have to check them. Um, if not, honestly, I have little knowledge when it comes to um, other devices, so I, wouldn't, I don't know how to fix those for you. Uh, yeah, so I'll continue the video when this is done. As you can see, uh, luckily, upgrade done, success, one, fail, zero, time, 102, 368 milliseconds. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, unplug it, plug it back in, and then we're going to connect it to the TV that's right here. And uh, they warn you in the... Where's my USB cord? Oh, yeah, it's right there. All right, they warn you that um, 
it's going to take a while to boot, um, and that there might be some lag the first time you plug it back in, but this is because it's uh, uh, taking up all the RAM to uncompress the uh, APK for the Android 4.1. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to unplug it. We're going to plug it into the HDMI extender. Be careful not to, you know, bend this or anything. All right, and now we're gonna plug. It. Oh god! And we're gonna plug the power back in. Okay, and now we're gonna switch this over to HDMI three. I hope. Uh, and there's the penguins for the Linux. We're going to see our box. Okay, now this should take longer than normal, so don't freak out that uh, it's, you know, it's back to where you started. So we're just going to wait. Should come up. Or our box. Sorry, I don't know why saying rock chip. Uh, this time it should be quicker. I'm not sure by how much, but it should be. Alright, there we go. You can see my mouse works now. Alright, so I'm going to hit OK. Um, as you can see, okay, choose the maps, awesome. Okay, as you can see, it might be a little bit different from when you first purchased it. Uh, see, I am actually, there's less clutter on here now, actually. There's less stock apps. There were, um, like, file, a file browser app uh, now, or there were, it was. Oh, no, there it is, Explorer. My apologies. All right, so... Um, yeah, it looks like it's uh, working now again. Um, a few things to make it keep working uh, that I've learned. Don't keep it plugged in all the time. Um, unplug it when you're not using it. Like the power, not the HDMI board. Uh, these things overheat kind of easily because there's no fans in them. And they're small plastic cases. Um, another thing is to not to download so much onto the SD cards. Uh, if they clutter the SD card too much, then it uh, freaks out and it, oh, that's weird. Uh, freaks out and um, it won't boot. That's what happened to me last time. I think uh, my dad was downloading music onto over like a media server and you know it started not working again. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys have any questions, post them in the comments. I probably won't be that much help, to be honest. But, uh, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching.